So, hello everyone. Um, today we will uh, define the floor and roof decks. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, I'm going to display and turn. Press this button just to make it as a default view. And I'm going to the 2D on the first story, okay. And now we will hit this button for the thick. And now we are going to define a slab on deck and then roof deck, okay. I'm going to press this. I'm going to the art art topic, way of defining this. Then you need to select a slab composed with a trapezoidal plate, okay. Slab composed with a trapezoidal plate. I'm going to call it slab on deck. Okay, and the height of this slab will be 5 inches. 1 inch is about 25 millimeters. 5 inches is 125 millimeters. 12.5 centimeters about that okay will be the height of our at least the concrete height of our slab as you may see it will be this height okay let's define this five the h1 will be 1.5 and then we'll need an a which is the which is the width of this band over here the a will be 7.4 for a1 a2 will be 496 and the thickness will be 0 0.2 inches okay so the material we need to define it concrete 3 okay i'm going to press add and now we need to do this for the roof deck I'm going to press roof deck over here and in the roof deck i only want a slab on a trapezoidal i only need a trapezoidal plate okay the height will be 1.5 the thickness will be 0 0.1, the A will be 9.84, A1 will be 1.58, and this will be 4.72. And the material will not be concrete, we'll need, we are going to use, I'm going to use the same steel that I used previously, okay, it will be this steel, okay, add. I'm going to close this. Now that we have the thickness, we'll need to configure the calculation model for these slabs, for these plates that we are going to use, okay? We just go to Geometry, Properties, and hit the Panel, Calculation Model. Okay, we are going to work on this Floor Deck Model and Roof Deck Model. First of all, let me go to the Floor Deck Model, which we've got here. And for the floor deck model, we will not use no finite elements, okay? And we will need the stiffening diagram in X, Y. A transfer of load, as we don't use no finite elements, it will be, it will always be like the simplified trapezoidal one triangular method, okay? One way, and the, on its plane, this plate will be rigid, okay, very good, add, yes, already defined, let me go to roof deck model, over here we are going to use finite element types, which will be, which will be shell, we want a rigid connection of nodes without stiffening, as we are going to use um, the finite element type, we may do it without stiffening, it will have the stiffness of that plate that we defined previously. But the transfer of loads, we can make it analytical, but we are going to make it simplified. Okay, one way, very good, close, already defined. And now we are going to define our floor, okay. First for our story one, let me go to geometry, floors, as you may see over here, and we'll select slab on deck the material will be concrete 3 model will be floor deck model as we defined previously the definition method will be a rectangle and now we need to press the nodes that define that rectangle and as you may see robot picks this node this node this node this node and make this a rigid 
diaphragm on its plane. Okay, now let's go to story number three. Story number two. Select so that of this, and now I'm going to define the roof deck. The model will be the roof deck model. Okay, and now I'm going to select also the rectangular definition method. Select this point, this point, this point. And there we go. I'm going to close this, also close this, and take a look at the model. Uh, I want to look the old model. I don't want to filter the structural stories. Okay, just go to stories and select and uncheck this filter structural stories. And there you have that we have our structure. You may also, if you want to view, you may also take a look in the panels and select the panel thickness. Okay, and you will be able to check the thickness of that panel okay we ain't got no thickness the thickness is very very low over here it's very very low over here okay all right as you may see uh, in this panel over here we have defined a very simple model okay the distribution of loads will be simplified one also in this one over here but we made it elastic. Uh, feel free to comment on that. Uh, it's a nice way to define your 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 plates. Okay. Now let's go to section three and define the loads and boundary conditions. Maybe we just got time to define the boundary conditions. They are already defined. Robot has done that. I'm going to close the object inspector. If you press this button, it will bring it on. Okay, I think we've got more room to see the model. Just go to this button. Okay, I want to apply the pinned base to all my uh, structural nodes. So, okay, you've got here your pinned base. I'm going to show you how it was done. You may go to this button over here. No selection, okay. And uh, select the nodes geometrically. Z axis from zero to zero. It will pick all the lower lower nodes and press this button. Okay, very good. As you may, you can isolate now your selection. There you go with that selection. Just use pinned base. You can define this geometrically. And I, I have picked it, the the node with this structural height zero, all these nodes over here. Okay, very good. Okay, now let me close this and also close this. And now let me go to view tables. Okay, I'm going to select the nodes table, and you may see the support definition over here as a pinned base. Okay, I'm going to close out of this and uh, on the next video we will start the definition of uh, the load cases okay so thank you for watching please subscribe and give this video a like it will help me very much thank you once again